Hello guys, in this video, we are going to see about SSL certificate and TSL in websites. What is this SSL and TLS? TL TLS means transport layer security and SSL means secure socket layer. This SSL and TLS certificate used for encrypt the data and send it to the server. So if the website doesn't have any SSL and TLS certificates, so if we search the bug name is called as TLS cookie without a secure flag. So the TLS cookie will be transferred to hackers. So the hackers will easily attack the website and hack all the information. If the user going to this website and upload her information means the hacker can able to steal the data of users in this website with the, without SSL certificate websites. So how to file it? So let's see. Before that, the problem attacker can hack user data in HTTP connections. So while using this HTTP connection, we can connect to VPN and use it. So if you are using an HTTP connection for reading, just to see pictures, that's all. It's not a problem. If you're going to upload your images, information, your data, your biodata, something, so that is dangerous when we use this HTTP connection websites. So solution is using HTTPS or sorry guys I used a T here it's or HTTPS or HSTS. So HTTP means Hyper Text Transfer Protocol. So it just transfer the text file without any encryption. But HTTPS is Hyper Text Transfer Protocol secure. So it will encrypt the information and they send it to the server. So combination of this HTTP and HTTPS is called as HSTS. So H means hypertext transfer protocol. S means secure. Transport T means transport. S means security. Okay, how websites get this SSL certificate? So if you're going to buy a domain or server site, they will have this SSL is here. Small coding used to encrypt the information. So they will provide us an SSL certificate. So that's why SSL and TLS make encryption is possible. Okay, we all seen that. What is SSL and TLS certificates? So how to find if the website has an LS, SSL sorry SSL certificate or not? So let's check it in online. So now, now I am in a Google.com. So I'm clicking here. So I'm saying SSL. Just check online. See, there is a number of website to check online. So all are working good. So I checked all. So I'm using SSL shopper. So it is a user friendly and good to look see so this is the page of SSL shopper so at this point I'm using this website maybe in future this website can work or not so you can check another website by clicking the previous links in Google search so by giving website name here you can check SSL certificate is having or not so I'm going to check by opening new tab so I'm going to a website called SNAP Snapdeal. It's an Indian shopping website. So I'm going to copy this URL. Just copy and paste it here. Check SSL. See, it just take two seconds. Snapdeal.com. So the that comes IP address, the server's IP address. Server type is just named as Snapdeal. So they have all the major certificate. So all the correct certificate is installed. So there is no problem in certificate. So the certificate issued by DigiCert. So you can register by DigiCert to buy a certificate. So the certificate will expire in 260 days. So you guys see that it's locked symbol. So these all are the sub domains in Snapdeal websites. So all are secured with the SSL certificates. See? So the organization issued by is www.digicert.com. So location US. This company is located in US. So the Snapdeal buy an SSL certificate from DigiCert. So okay, let's go. So now we are going to see a vulnerable website called VULN Web. So this is a website to use to practice. This is a vulnerable website. So it doesn't have any HTTPS connection. So I'm just copying this. So I'm paste it here. Check SSL. So it's checking 
taking time because it doesn't have SSL certificate. Just wait one minute to see. See guys, there's no SSL certificate I found in this. To make sure the name evolves the right server, okay, there is no SSL certificate. So the website working good. This is the IP address of the server and all are working good, but no SSL certificate. So this is vulnerability website. So this is for user uh, cyber students for practice. So you no need to complain or raise any worries about your website doesn't have HTTPS connection. Just I am here to just I'm showing this using this vulnerable websites. Otherwise, if you can see there is just an HTTP connection. Okay, now I am just type HTTP website. So there are more number of HTTP websites, the government of India web directory. So HTTPS, so it is secure the security matrix. I'll just go to this. So I'm just copying this. So I paste it here. Sometimes HTTP yes connection is also have doesn't have a SSL certificate because they didn't renew it. So we can check here by clicking here. See, it has SSL certificate. So hola encrypted. Uh, you can see there is a lock symbol here. It shows the connection is secure. If it shows the connection is not secure, that means there is no SSL certificate and as a bug TLS with out security flag. Okay, there's another website I'm clicking here. See, the website doesn't have secure connection. Just search but I'm copying this, just going here and pasted it. So just click check. See. There is no SSL certificate. Guys, this is a, a small bug. Or uh, some website forgot it to anyway the SSL certificate. So you can go to this website and go down. Go down here. So you click on Teams. So uh, you can contact using this about us. They are giving a email. We sending a email. So saying that your website is does not have a SSL certificate. So user can able to attack and capture all the user informations. So this is how SSL certificates works. So you guys understand how SSL certificate works. So what is SSL certificate and bug TLS. So next we are going to see the important bug in next video. Thanks for watching.